be able to help ships weighing hundreds of thousands of tons move on the water, their engines must be extremely large and powerful. For example, the engine you are seeing. The inside of the engine is even bigger than your house. The details inside its engine block are also extremely large. How can they be created? Today, let's find out about it with Machinery and Technology Channel. The crankshaft is essentially the backbone of the internal combustion engine. The crankshaft is responsible for the proper operation of the engine and converting a linear motion to a rotational motion. Crankshafts should have very high fatigue strength and wear resistance to ensure long service life. Most modern crankshafts are located in the engine block. They are made from steel or cast iron, using either a forging, casting, or machining process. Crankshaft Materials As for giant crankshafts, the material of crankshaft commonly used in high-strength crankshafts is steel alloys, which have been chosen based on what each designer considers to be the most desirable combination of properties. Medium carbon steel alloys are composed primarily of the element iron and contain small percentages of carbons 0.25% to 0.45%, describes as 25 to 45 point of carbons. Several a combination of alloying elements, a mixture of which has been carefully designed to produce specific properties in the target alloy, including hardness, surface and core hardness, ultimate tensile strength, yield strength, endurance limit fatigue strength, ductility, impact resistance, corrosion resistance, temper inflammatory resistance. Crankshaft Heat Treating The typical heat treatment process for carbon steel alloys first alters the structure of the rough machine part by heating the part to full temperature in an oven to convert it into a face-centered cubic austenite crystalline structure. The part stabilizes in a neighborhood of 1,550 degrees Fahrenheit to 1,650 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the specific material. Thereafter, the part is removed from the heating oven and rapidly cooled, quenched, to remove heat from the parts at rates sufficient to convert a large percentage of the austenitic composition into fine-grained martensite. The desired martensitic post-quench crystalline structure of steel is a high strength, high hardness, the form of iron carbon solutions. The rate of cooling required to achieve maximum change varies with the hardness of the material, which is determined by the combination of the alloying elements. Billet Crankshaft Machining Billet's crankshafts are fully machined from a round bar, billet, of the selected material. This method of manufacturing provides extreme flexibility of design and allows rapid changes to a design in search of optimum performance characteristics. In addition to fully machined surfaces, the billet process makes it easy to locate the counterweight and journal web exactly where the designer wants them to be. The process includes demanding machining operations, particularly with regard to counterweight shaping and undercutting, rifling drilling main and rod journals, and drilling lubrication passages. The availability of multi-axis, high-speed, high-precision CNC machining equipment has made the billet-to-billet -billet method significantly cost-effective and enabled extremely precise fabrication combined with precise 3D CAD and FDA design methodologies. Crankshafts often need little in the way of massaging the ladder for balancing purposes.
Great care must be observed in the manufacture of the crankshaft since it is the most important part of the engine. While machining, the shaft must be properly supported between centers and special precautions should be taken to avoid springing. The journals and the crank pins are ground to exact size after turning. After this, the crankshaft is balanced. Large shafts of low-speed engines are balanced statically. Crankshafts of high-speed engines are balanced dynamically on special balancing machines. Most crankshafts are ground at the journals and crank pins. In some cases, grinding is followed by hand lapping with emery cloth. High-strength steels are carefully refined so as to remove as many of the undesirable impurities as possible. Sulfur, phosphorus, calcium, etc. And to more tightly constrain the tolerances, which define the allowable variations in the percentage of alloying elements. The highest quality steels are usually specified and ordered by reference to their AMS number. After a period of operation, the engines will certainly encounter mechanical problems. Therefore, it is necessary to have proper and periodic maintenance and overhaul measures. Let's see largest crankshaft repair in the United States, 37 feet long, weighing over 37,000 pounds. Pipeline reciprocating compressor engine, 12,000 HP Clark DCVC 20M engine, some of the largest individual integral compressor engines in the U.S. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or new topics to discuss, please let me know by commenting below the video.